this week's edition of Five Things to Know for Tokyo 2020. My name is Ken Hanscom, and each week I bring you the latest news and stories on the road to next summer's event. There's a lot happening this week, so let's get to number one. This week, Thomas Bach of the IOC made the announcement that he fully expects international fans to be at Tokyo 2020 next summer. This continued good news because last week we heard that Japan has had countermeasures in place is planning to welcome international visitors in next April. So we continue to see good news here and we'll see it build hopefully as we continue towards the journey to have those international fans at Tokyo 2020. Let's move on to number two. I talked about it a little over a month ago, but the Pride House has now officially opened in Tokyo as part of the 2020 uh, celebration. And as part of that, it's not just a pop-up like it's been uh, a house for since you know, Vancouver 2010, but it's going to be a permanent fixture in Tokyo and focused on equality to everyone. So it's, it's open, it's available, and you can visit it now in Tokyo. Let's move on to number three. The official video game of Tokyo 2020, which is Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 as a title, came out a couple months ago. But this past week in Japan, they had a virtual competition. And in that virtual competition, they brought in a number of competitors that went and competed head to head in a video game contest featuring the sports of Next Olympics. So if you haven't checked out the game, it might be worth checking out. It's on a number of different platforms that are referenced here. Let's move on to number four. This is really exciting news for me. This is one of the things I was planning to do that is outside of the Olympic Games while I was in Tokyo. I was planning to head down to Osaka to Universal Studios and check out Super Mario World. Now, it was supposed to open this past spring and it got delayed due to COVID, but now it was recently announced just this past week that it is gonna open up in spring of 2021. So if you are looking for something to do outside of the Olympics, it might be a great idea to check out. Let's move on to number five. And in other basketball news around the Olympics, Coach Brett Brown, uh, who is the head coach of the Australian uh, basketball team, stepped down this week. He stepped down due to his uncertain future in the sport and said, hey, um, I'm not going to be able to coach the team for Australia in Tokyo 2020. That is a bit of a blow to the Australian team, but they're now on the search for their coach that will be coaching them in next summer's games. That's it for this week on Five Things to Know for Tokyo 2020. Looking forward to catching you next week. All right, until then.